Hi Pisces, hope you're all doing well. So this is going to be a general love reading for November 2021 for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And because it's general, it's not going to resonate for everybody, but of course you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person signs, or you can book a personal reading if you want. All that information is in the description box. All right, let's see Pisces. For November, we have big dreams, okay. I feel like somebody is really feeling like a dream that they had or something that they've been wishing for, something they've been fantasizing about can actually be achieved. But let's see, let's get into this. So Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed regardless of whether you're watching for yourself or cross-watching for somebody else. All right, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, so the situation, we have the Three of Pentacles crossed by the Page of Wands. All right, so there is somebody here um, in this connection who wants to have like some kind of a partnership, some kind of a collaboration, a working together, possibly a compromise, something along those lines. And the challenge seems to be actually doing it, like actually going through with it, um, taking that first step maybe. Let's see, for your energy, we have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse and the Chariot in reverse. All right, so Cancer energy showing up. Um, for them, we have the Three of Wands and Strength. So Leo showing up here. Um, the potential, sorry, the near future energy for you is the seven of pentacles in reverse. For them, we have the magician in reverse. And the potential outcome here, we have the knight of wands in reverse. All right, so we're going to clarify and see um, exactly what is going on here. But I feel like for you, I feel like you're not really putting in much effort at the moment. You're not, you're not really, um, giving much energy to this situation at the moment. All right, and I feel like the, um, the reason might be because you feel like you might, you don't know how to. It feels like you just don't know exactly what it is that you should be doing. You feel like it might just throw you out of control. Um, and so I kind of also see you continuing on in that manner, um, just coming up. We'll see though. We'll see for them. The other person here, it feels like they're they're waiting and I feel like it's taking a lot of strength for them to actually deal with the situation. I don't see them doing much either. It feels like you're both kind of not really doing much. Um, but yeah, let's clarify and see because there is a big dream here though, that's the thing. So let's clarify the Three of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. Okay. The Queen of Swords, the Empress, and the Emperor in reverse. All right, okay, so definitely a very strong connection here. Okay, we have both the Empress as well as the Emperor showing up. Um, I'm not quite sure who is who, but I do feel like it's mostly, and again, roles can be reversed. Okay, please keep that in mind. Um, but it does come across more as you being the one not, not putting in um, energy to this for whatever reason. And it does feel like the other person is waiting, stalling, procrastinating or something here. So it's like, that's why no, neither of you are taking action. It's like there's this distance between the two of you and it's like holding, just both of you holding, holding back from one another. Whoever is in the feminine energy in this connection or holds more of that feminine energy, I feel like you're, um, and it's most likely going to be what if you're the one watching. 
I feel like you're standing more in your power, you're finding yourself, you're trying to really find your own sense of self-worth, your abundance, right? You're trying to fully stand in your power, whereas the person who holds more of the masculine energy is not, is not really there just yet. They're not really feeling like they're completely in their power. And the way that I'm seeing this, it's like this empress is like right above the emperor and the emperor is like, I don't know, if you could, because he's in reverse. Um, it, just the way that it comes to me, it's like the, the masculine energy viewing the feminine as being up high on a pedestal and that they're less than. And I'm so sorry about the cats, they're, they're acting up. <laughs> Scorpio's reading as well. Um, all right. Yeah, so it's like because of that, there, there's like this dream of the two of you being together, working together, but it's like nobody is making that, no one's taking that initiative. All right, let's see the Eight of Pentacles for you. All right, very interesting. All right. The Ace of Wands, the Star, and the Eight of Wands. All right. <laughs> there is so much drive here. There is so much desire here. There is so much wishing here. Um, whoever this is up here, all right, I'm just going to say it's you because that's how I do these readings. Um, you're really wishing for this. Um, you want this, like, so bad. It's like this big dream but you're not putting in any effort. You're just not doing anything and it's not very clear why, but there's a lot of drive here. I feel like you want to communicate with this person. You want to take action with this person. There's passion, there's, you know, drive, there's wishing, hoping, all of that, but not putting in any effort, not really doing anything about it. Let's see the chariot. Six of Pentacles in reverse and the Seven of Wands in reverse. A lot of defensiveness. Why? I feel like, you know, you, you feel like you just really need to protect yourself. And again, I feel like it's coming in as you feeling like either you cannot give enough to this person or this person cannot give enough to you or there's a fear of that. There's a fear of taking initiative because you might not get what you, like the, the amount of energy that you would give and put in. It's like you, there's like this fear of not being able to get, that you won't get that in return or that you won't be met by the same energy. And you feel like that might just make you lose control of the situation or control over your own um, your own emotions because it's like at the moment it's like you're keeping your emotions um, guarded by not doing anything and there is this tendency it's like you want to release that guard you want to put your guard down um, but it's like you feel vulnerable you're feeling very vulnerable here that should you make the initiative, then you'll have lost your cover. Let's see what's going on with them. Let's see the three of wands. The five of pentacles and then the 10 of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, I feel like this person feels either abandoned, rejected already, and just feeling like this, um, feeling like because there's been a lack of commitment, because things have not worked out in the practical, in the practical sense, right, in the 3D. But there's still this waiting they're still in, yeah, they're still in an energy of waiting, though, and feeling, feeling a bit alone, basically, um, without this, without this connection, without this commitment, 
Um, I see them waiting even though they're, they, they're not feeling very hopeful that this will actually um, come to be. Let's see the strength card. The Nine of Cups and the Seven of Swords in Reverse. So this person is wishing for this as well. This person is wishing for this as well, but I feel like they're trying to, um, almost like they're, they're trying to be strong in the sense of trying to push that out of their minds, but, but they can't. <laughs> trying to avoid it, trying to deny it, and really not being able to. And that's why it's taking so much strength um, to endure this. So I don't know why they're not um, taking action here. Could be anything. Who knows what's happened between the two of you. You would know though. But that's the current energy. Let's see what is coming up here. For you for that, that Seven of Pentacles being in reverse. Temperance in reverse and the King of Cups. are really <laughs> being distractful today they're distracting me like crazy all right so you're again it's like you're you're just not i feel like you're not putting in that effort you're not wanting to invest in this um at the moment there's something here that is holding you back even though there's a lot of love here all right there's a lot of love and i feel like it's more of a waiting just waiting 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 for the both of you actually it's like you're you're um you're in a waiting but I feel like it's mostly you who wants to take um, that initiative, but but you're waiting. And then the other person is just waiting for you to take that initiative. That's how it's coming in for me. But I do feel like this waiting, it's like, I feel like you're being called to ask yourself why. Because I don't see it as being, as being something positive. I see that there's a lot of love here that you hold for a particular um, connection, but but there's some kind of a balance that you're trying to find within yourself, possibly some kind of a healing, or something is not healed emotionally within your own self, and that is what is creating this um, hesitation and not wanting to invest this, um, you know, guardedness. Again, roles can definitely be reversed. Okay. Um, let's see the Magician for them, which is in reverse. All right, the Queen of Wands and the Six of Cups. All right, yeah, see, this is somebody who really has this wish for a reconciliation, a reconnecting, or a coming together. This is somebody who is viewing you as something very um, desirable, you know, really wants this connection. Um, but again, just not acting on it. Feeling like they, it's like this person feels like it's not under their control. Like it's not up to them. It's almost like they feel like the ball is in your court at the moment. They don't have the tools that would be needed, but it's not even the tools. It's more of the ball is just not in their court kind of a thing. They feel like it's you. Um, so let's see the Knight of Wands in reverse for the potential outcome here. I don't necessarily see that as you taking that jump or them taking that jump or you know making that move I, I it just kind of feels like it's in line with the current energy but um, at least for the time being all right this is keep in mind this is just for the first half of November um, all right so we have the nine of wands the death card and the king of wands all right I see So no one has really given up here. It's just that this person um, is not taking initiative, right? Okay, the other person here, neither are you. But what I'm trying to say is nobody has given up. They have not given up. You have not given up here. 
I feel like the reason why there is no movement here in the potential outcome is because there is some kind of a major transformation that is happening. And whatever that transformation is, right, it's moving you towards being this King of Wands. The King of Wands does overcome obstacles. The King of Wands goes after what he wants. King of Wands, in the end, is successful. And so I feel like there's still, what this Nine of Wands is saying is that there's still um, some challenges here. There's still some bumps on the road, still some obstacles that need to be overcome, but it's like it's almost at the end. It's almost at the finish line. Right? It's like this struggle, it's almost done. It's almost coming to an end. The struggle, the difficulties, which is, and then it's like you're coming out a winner as the king of wands coming out in your power and i feel like it's what this is saying is that this has to happen first and it this is in the potential it is a very strong potential all right but it's just not it's not just right right now it's not like within the next week or two that's all this is saying but it's almost at the end the struggle is almost at the end and there is this big dream here right um that the both of you actually have and I do see that being, uh, with the King of Wands being the very last card, I think that's awesome because this is the King of Wands actually um, going after his big dream. So, yeah, that is it, Pisces. Those were your messages. I thank you so much for watching and much love.